Today we're going to cover a utility called Uniget UI, formerly known as Winget UI. Let's get started. So we're here on our Windows 11 desktop. We're going to open up Google Chrome. Let's search for Uniget UI. And the first option here is Uniget UI, formerly Winget UI. Click on that. Yes, we're going to agree to using cookies. So we've got a few options here on how we can actually get this. You can do a direct download. You can grab it from GitHub. The option we're going to choose today is none of the above. We're going to open up a terminal and we're going to do winget search uniget UI. And wouldn't you know it, that is actually available. And what we're going to do is we are going to highlight the ID, hit enter, and then we're going to say winget install and right click the mouse button and hit enter. And with a little luck, we should have this installed in just a moment. And we'll close our terminal window. And now that we're fully installed, we can open up Uniget UI. And as the icon says, formerly Winget UI. This is run by an administrator, not recommended when using Uniget UI as administrator. Every operation launched from Uniget UI will have administrator privileges. You can still use the program, but we highly recommend not running Uniget UI with administrator privileges. Fine for right now. We're just going to take a look around. So we have a big search for packages here and search mode by package name or ID. So let's say we wanted to search for Firefox. It will in fact find Firefox and you can install it. It tells you the package name, ID, the version number, and the source. So as you can see here, we are able to get packages from more than one source. We've got PowerShell PS Gallery. We've got Chocolatey Community and Winget. That's all good. Let's now switch to a non-privileged user. We're going to launch Uniget UI with a non-privileged user. All right. So from here, we can search for packages. We can see what packages are installed and if they need updates. There are also package bundles that we can look at here and nothing showing up at the moment, which is all right. We can look at the about section and disclaimer, Uniget UI is not related to any of the compatible package managers. It's an independent project. Good to know. Discover packages. Let's say we wanted to search for advanced IP scanner. It's going to do its thing. And we've got one package. We can go ahead and check the box and say install selected packages. And we've got a UAC prompt. Say yes. And it should install it. <laughs> sure would be nice if Windows would pop that up over top of the running application, but hey. And then we can, of course, scan our network, which we're not going to let that run all the way through. That's all right. So now that we've got a package installed, we can go and we can look at install packages. We see just the one. It gives you the option to uninstall. Uninstall as administrator, interactive uninstall, settings, I'm guessing, are options, package details, you have to have it selected, and this is just a nice way to be able to install Windows apps without having to use the Microsoft Store, and other than the initial setup, 
in this example, you don't have to use the command line. Now again, there are in fact options you've got for downloading without ever going into the command prompt. So those are worth exploration in another video. Until then, this is going to wrap things up. If you've got questions on Unigit UI, let me know down in the comments. Until next time, thanks for watching.